Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let me know if you like this mic placement better than the usual mic placement because I find it keeps getting super echoey, which is really annoying. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing a rent review on I Never by Laura Hopper. If you guys have been following my channel for a bit, you would know that I hauled this earlier, I think like a couple weeks back, and I was actually super excited to read it. Um, but I feel like after reading it, I just kind of was like let down again by these kind of YA books. It's like the specific type because they just always seem to like fall into those tropes and have those super awkward scenes. I'm going to get more into detail like throughout the book. Um, and I'm also going to do like my non-spoiler and then spoiler part. But at the end, I want to have like a general discussion about YA like and just like books like these. And I really, really want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below and what you guys think. Because I'm just curious, is it like just me or does everyone kind of think this? Like, I'm not really sure, but with all of that out of the way, <laughs> we'll just get to the review. All right, so I'm going to start with the no spoiler part first. So you basically follow these two characters, Janie and Luke. And so Janie is in the 11th grade in high school and Luke is in the 12th grade. They meet and like... They weren't like men, they're not in the same social groups and it's like one of those things where she's like super nerdy and quiet and she's also very naturally pretty. Um, and she like always liked him and he was like a track star and super popular and they just kind of meet, really hit it off, blah, 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 blah. So it basically follows them and the reason I picked it up was just because I sometimes like to read these books, especially in the summer. And I feel like even if I had saved this for the summer, I still wouldn't have liked it. Um, I typically like them because if the character is written and like I can really relate to them, then I don't really mind like the cringy scenes I have to get through. But I just found like Janie was a really hard character to try to relate to just because she constantly was like trying to put other female characters down. Um, I'm getting into the negatives already. I'm gonna do like what I liked and then what I didn't like or Maybe what I didn't like and what I liked and then we'll go through kind of like a spoiler discussion All right So the things that I didn't like about the book as I mentioned before Janie throughout the entire Book was just putting down other girls like constantly every single time she was with Luke and Luke was around another girl like she was immediately like oh she has her boobs out on display she's wearing makeup like it was just I really hate reading that, especially now considering like it's 2018. Like you can't get away with the whole, oh, it was 2002 and like that was normal. Like it's 2018. I don't know when this book was written. I'm pretty sure it's a new book. Um, so I really don't get why people continue to put it on like the protagonist. It just makes the protagonist look flawed, which I'm not saying the protagonist has to be a flawless character, but it just... It's such a toxic flaw to give a character, especially when this is geared towards younger girls who are going to read this and think, oh, like, I'm not wearing makeup because I don't want to seem, like, slutty or, like, girls who naturally, like, naturally girls with, like, big boobs that are, like, out, like, no matter what shirt they wear. Like, she would, like, make these comments about, like, the girls, like, having their boobs out all the time. It's, like, so tacky. Like, the whole thing, I was just, like... And it was in every single chapter, like regardless of like the situation, she always like found a way to like slide in a jab at some girl. I'm gonna give an example from page 57. It's like, um, she was talking about how she doesn't wear like any makeup and just puts her hair in a ponytail. And then she was like, this is the first time in my life I've ever brought a hairbrush to school, including picture days. What's next? Mascara, nail polish, Lucy Coach um, or Coach. Another junior girl on the uh, track team was arranging her breasts in her skin tight tank top. I watched to see if she's going to cover it up with a t-shirt. Nope. Off she goes out the door with her boobs on display. I look back in the mirror. In my mind's eyes, I still look like a 12 year old girl. I wonder what Luke sees when he looks at me. Why? Like, why is that even at all necessary? Like, I understand if like you're insecure about a guy, like I understand that naturally, like we are like, we do like tend to not i don't want to say this in like a mean like like girls do compete with each other in real life like there's no going around it like it does happen and we do compare ourselves to others but it was just the way that she was like it's so detailed and it's very like toxic um it's not kind of like in a um, self-depreciating way it's almost like an attack and then she gets self-depreciating to kind of like soften it and make her not look like 
mean because she's the protagonist and she can't do anything wrong. Also, another thing I didn't like about this book was the dialogue was like written by a robot. I swear, if you had told me that this book was actually about a bunch of robot people pretending to be human to not get like captured by the police, that would have made more sense because the dialogue is atrocious. Literally, she talks like an eight-year-old. Like, um, at one point, they were going to get food and she was like, OMG, we're going back again, period. Yay, period. And she put Luke through such a high pedestal throughout the entire book. Literally, Luke asks my dinner, er, Luke asks about my dinner with my dad. I tell him everything, a little floored by my own ability to be so candid with him. You're telling him about your dad's di like your dinner with your dad. Like, what do you mean like being candid with him? She like, he was the most average character. Like I literally pictured him as like those like, you know when you're playing a video game and you get like the starter person? That's what I pictured Luke to be. Like he was so bland and so boring and had literally nothing to him except that he ran. Like that's literally it. And this character was just super annoying. Like even um, she like lied to her friend and apparently she's never lied to her friend before. And it was like, oh, I just came home and went to bed. Wow, I just lied to Brett. He seems, bleh, he seems suspicious, but he lets it go. Guys are so much simpler than girls. What do you say? Like, what are you talking about? Like, this entire book, like, just everything was very, like, condescending. Like, for a character that was so self-conscious about herself and, like, this guy, Luke, that she wanted to be with, that the entire book, even though he was like, I want to be with you, she was like, I don't know, like... The entire time was so contrived and so condescending to literally every other character in the book that was not a boy. Then there was this really boring subplot about like Jamie like being a debate person, which I get it, you have to like give her something to make her look like a nerd because every other character trait of her proves otherwise. Not to like typecast what a nerd looks like, but you know what I mean. Like she's trying to play that whole, oh, she doesn't wear makeup, she doesn't try hard, but like so effortlessly pretty. Also simultaneously looks like a Victoria's Secret model, but no makeup, none. But anyway, so this subplot of like the debating team was actually the worst thing I've ever had to read. It was so boring. Who wants to read about a debate scene? No one, absolutely nobody. And she would like drone on and on about these debate scenes and she took it so seriously. I was like, I don't care. Like I actually don't care. <laughs> Moving on more examples of awkward dialogue. The mom, or Janie wanted to go out, the mom was like, just make sure you're responsible and smart, like you always have been. Why does she talk like a robot? Like all of them, this dialogue throughout the entire book was so, like, okay, you know when you're writing an essay and you have to like, you can't use contractions and everything sounds like super like, I cannot go to the store, instead of I can't go to the store. That was this entire book. I don't know what she was doing. It's just really awkward, it, not even at times. It was the entire time the dialogue just made me want to like take a pen and stab myself. Then we had one of those, of course, we have to have a super fucking awkward, weird, empowering scene. So Janie and Luke were about to do it. She decides she doesn't want to do it. That's fine. But so Luke and her stand in front of a mirror naked and <laughs> Luke's like, open your eyes so you can see what I see. I stare into the mirror and search for the person Luke has found. Slowly, she begins to emerge. A strong, pretty girl is surfacing. Could it be she's always been there? Like, stop. Then, um, Janie gets in a fight with one of her friends because one of her friends had had a crush on Luke and she just never got with him, so Janie gets with him and, like, she was jealous. And, of course, they have this, like, growing... You can tell that, like, there's, like, a deep-seated, like, issue just like 30 days of different, they just cry and hug. Like, that's it. Can somebody explain to me how these authors spend like 20 pages describing how the girl like is choosing an outfit to wear but can't give us a 20 page like conflict resolution? Like, I don't get that at all. Then there were like some very Chasing Red-esque scenes in the high school. Like when um, Janie and Luke were walking through the hallway holding hands, um, Janie's like, we get our fair share of smiles, raised eyebrows and whispers. I notice a few nods from senior girls, like I've been accepted into an exclusive club. Did I go to like the wrong high school that all of these YA books are talking about? Like no one reacts like this, absolutely nobody. Like no one actually cares that much. Then Luke throws, he throws it. We knew, we knew he was gonna say this. He says it at 135, he says, you're not caught up in all the crap I hear other girls talking about. You know, 
clothes and purses and their flat iron hair, you have no insecurities. Yes, Janie, you don't care about clothes. You just walk around naked 24 seven. Flat iron hair? Why? Why would you ever do that? Anyone who flat irons their hair is just trash. Why would we do any of these things? I'm just so done with the you're not like other girls trope and I don't get how authors see literally everybody making fun of this trope. Everyone making fun of this stupid trope and they still use it. They still use it. Like this book guarantees another generation of girls pulling the I'm not like other girls. Like we need to figure out a year that books just can't use that anymore so we can just cut it off. No one can say it anymore and then we can live our lives. So that's what I didn't like about the book, but there are things that I actually did like about it. So for starters, um, I wasn't particularly annoyed throughout reading it all. Like I wasn't like, ah, like chasing red annoyed. It was, I'm not gonna say a pleasurable read, but I would say this is like a rented at the library in the summer when you want something to kind of tide you over between like maybe a really intense book that you've read before or read before it. Um, and the other thing that I liked about it is actually, this is a huge spoiler, but they don't end up together at the end, which I thought was actually a quite realistic and surprising turn considering the other 98% of this book. It seemed like it was gonna be one of those things like where they were like together forever and they were gonna get married and have children, even though they're in high school and are literally 12, um, but they don't end up together. And I guess part of the book's lesson, it seemed like she took that turn through the last like 10 pages was that like everything isn't always going to like happen the way you think it is. And like, apparently I guess the use of Luke was he helped her see a more confident version of herself or something. I just wish that that whole journey hadn't come at the cost of literally every single other girl that crossed paths with Janie, because that's how it happened. Luke used girls, um, used lowering down girls in order to raise Janie up. Janie used lowering down girls in order to raise Janie up. Janie's friend, I forget his name, did the exact same thing. Same with all of Janie's, um, like the three, or no, the two girlfriends that Janie has, exact same thing. Like, I don't get why you need to put other people down in order to raise someone up, especially if you're talking about a character. I understand that if like an actual person, if you have like deep seated insecurities, like you are a lot more likely to put other people down to raise yourself up. But when you're writing about a character that you get to decide what they act like and what they're like and their flaws and everything. It was just like, why would you go with this? Like every single YA author that writes a shitty book goes with this and no one has done a good job of it or made it. I don't know. Like, I feel like it's them trying to like make the character relatable, but why would you want like your like majority of your audience to want to relate to a character like that? Who's like putting other people down to like make themselves feel better. I don't know going on a bit of a rant. Um, but I did like that it was c quite open-ended there. Like it was nice that she didn't like tie it all up in a bow, which I appreciated, but I I wouldn't say don't read it, which sounds stupid because I just spent 20 minutes bashing it and I had one thing that I liked about it. But if you like books like this, then I think it'll be like, if you like Sarah Dessen, you'll like this book. Otherwise, not really sure you will, but I thought I'd mention that. All right, anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you've read this book before and if so, what you guys think of it. Um, if you guys like this video, feel free to like and subscribe as well. Comment down below any books you'd like me to read and review in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video.